guys, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so, 2019, huh? It's coming up very soon. And I'm stressed. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Um, somehow I'm finding it really difficult to kind of accept that 2018 is over for some reason. I don't know. But that also means it's time for all the lovely end of year wrap up videos coming out. And those are honestly my favorite videos to watch. I know a lot of people really enjoy them. So I obviously am going to do like 15. <laughs> It's a slight exaggeration, but honestly, only a slight one because as of last year, um, there's so many different categories I want to talk about. So this is going to be the first of many. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are excited because I am. Um, as always, I will make a playlist of all the videos as they come out. So if you ever miss one, check out that playlist so you can watch them all in one go, depending on how many are out at that time. I will also link last year's just in case you're interested. Um, and so this first is just going to be a recap video where I just sit down and chat with you about my year and like look back on some videos that I would consider my favorite videos of the year. Um, so last year, I know I talked about being really proud of myself for finally finding an uploading schedule and I'm really happy I mainly stuck with it for this year as well. There were some times where I couldn't like get videos up on time or like I couldn't film videos for a while because of other things happening in my life and I think that's very valid like but for the most part I was pretty good about it so A plus to myself but overall I honestly <clears throat> I don't really know how to say this like a lot of people I think on YouTube are very um I try really hard not to make it about views and about subscribers and like they try to make it seem like that's not important to them and I think that's in most cases a little bit untrue <laughs> at least a little bit I think it's not mutually exclusive to be enjoying what you're doing on YouTube and to also want people to watch it and to people for people to enjoy it I think actually those two things go hand in hand and I've been struggling a little bit this year with feeling like I am stagnating <laughs> a lot. So in general, I'm somebody who's really bad at not comparing herself to others and especially with things like YouTube where you have like actual numbers that you can put to things. You can say like this person has X amount of subscribers and X amount of views a month. Like it's so clear cut that it's really easy to compare and I think it's sometimes really detrimental because you get can get so hung up on that and I'm just I don't know I'm trying to work on this because I don't think it's healthy to be sitting there looking at other people's videos and feeling like resentful because they get more views than you and you don't really know why um, but I've been struggling with that this year a lot and <laughs> it's really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still gonna sit here and lie about this and be like, I don't care about views. I don't care about subscribers. And I always, I try to bring it back to like what this is about, which is like my main goal is to make videos I enjoy making. It's to make videos I enjoy watching back that I can be proud of. And then hopefully some people will enjoy. And I do get mostly positive feedback, but just in terms of views, there's not really like a lot of new people coming in or even a lot of my own subscribers because if you look at my subscribers, which is like almost 17,000 and I still get like, if I get a thousand views on a video, I'm happy. Like that's already like a success for me. So it's difficult, it's difficult. And I know that there's so many like smaller channels that struggle even more and that must be even more frustrating because at least I get like a good chunk of people. It's usually the same people and I love seeing you back and I love watching, like reading your comments and, and seeing your reactions to things. Um, but it's hard. <laughs> it's just kind of hard to sit there and like not really know what you're doing wrong and see other people that definitely deserve the views that they're getting but you don't really it's not really like I don't really feel like they're doing anything more than me at least not overtly and it's a little 
it can be a little frustrating like just to not know what you're doing wrong and like where you can improve and I just want to reiterate that this doesn't mean like I don't think other people deserve their views and their subscribers I definitely do I I watch those people religiously and I love their videos myself um, and I just don't understand I guess what they're doing right versus what I'm doing wrong that's like kind of what it boils down to and it's a little difficult it's a, I'm just gonna, it's a little difficult. There's not really a conclusion to this train of thought, I think, or to this segment. I just wanted to like say, be like honest and say that this is how I've been feeling this year. And um, that's kind of it. <laughs> I know I'm never gonna be a super huge YouTuber um, and that's fine, but I, I don't really know. I just like, I would like a little bit more, I guess. I, I wanna, I wanna get, grow a little bit at least and come at least reach a point where I feel like my views and my subscriber count kind of make sense together if that makes sense what <laughs> what am I even saying so I guess it counts almost like a goal for 2019 is to a figure out how to do that and then b do it and that sounds really simple and I don't really want to change up like my style of videos because I actually like what I'm doing in my videos and I don't want to like ever reach a point where I don't like what I'm doing anymore um, I don't really want to do videos that are pandering like for example like I know that rant videos get a lot of views and sure it could like you know go and read books I know I'll hate just so that I can do a video on it but honestly I don't feel comfortable doing that I don't feel like that's very genuine of me to do if I'm on a fence about a book before reading it and it turns out I hate it I don't have any like qualms with doing a video on it or if I think a book is gonna be great and I hate it, I will do a video on it and rant to no end about it. But I just, I don't really know. I feel like, and this is just talking about me <clears throat> with my values. <laughs> that sounds like way too deep, but like with the values that I have, that doesn't feel right and it doesn't feel genuine and it doesn't feel like it's coming from a positive place. So I don't really wanna do that. And maybe that's a stupid decision in terms of like, my channel growth or whatever but I don't really I don't feel comfortable making it like I'd rather make videos that I feel comfortable making and that I want to make and that I feel like I'm 100% behind rather than just making videos that I think will get a lot of views that being said <laughs> I actually wanted to make this video more positive so I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite videos of this year because there's a few I always make videos I enjoy but there's just some that I really really enjoy and they're usually the ones that are a lot more thought out so they're usually rant videos <laughs> because I have like two half an hour long rant videos that I made this this month this year that I'm really proud of because I put a lot of work into them like I genuinely while reading the book I took notes I like marked pages I like structured my thoughts before filming it wasn't just like a I'm angry I'm whipping out the camera type of situation which is also fine. But those are the two for Illuminate um, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and um, The Poppy War by Arif Kwan. So both of these are really long, but I'm really proud of the way that I like prepared for them. I'm proud of the way that I um, structured them or like just how they turn out. I really like them basically. And if you haven't seen them yet, I'd really appreciate it if you watch them. Um, I really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed making them. It was a fun time. Apart from that, I also did a couple of vlogs um, this year and my favorites are definitely those from Amsterdam and Barcelona. I um, visited a friend in Amsterdam over the weekend and then uh, my boyfriend and I went to Barcelona for a few days in September and I just like vlogging these events, or like not events, these times because I know that's like the best way for me to remember what happened and I love that they're just there for me to like go back and like see what I did and like just I don't really know like have these these like little screen captures almost of like moments of my life that are that I really enjoyed that are really special I get to see different countries and different cultures and I just always love that and I, I really enjoy traveling so those definitely and then I also did some reading vlogs this year which I think it's I've done for the like first time that when it wasn't like a readathon reading vlog I've done readathon reading reading <laughs> this is like a tongue twister I've done readathon reading vlogs <laughs> For before like in other years as well but this year I just did like random ones and I actually really really enjoyed doing that um, my favorite one definitely was where I reread the entire Harry Potter series in a week it didn't quite turn out to be a week I think it was like seven and a half days because the last few books are genuinely 
impossible <laughs> to read in a day, but still, I was really proud of that. It was like an accomplishment to read them all that quickly. I really did nothing else. Um, I probably smelled really bad by the end of the week because I don't think I showered all that much. But you don't have time to shower when you're just reading Harry Potter compulsively. So <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Um, I really enjoyed re-experiencing that world because it's been such a long time since I read them last. Um, and as an adult kind of coming back to it and being like, okay, wait, how do you think about this now? Like after reading many other books I really enjoyed. Because to be honest, before my reread, I was a little bit judgmental I'm saying this apologetically, I was a little bit judgmental of people that were still so hung up on Harry Potter. I still am a little bit in, in the camp of like, oh, just read other books. But also I understand, I understand. It's a fantastic series, it's just as good reading it as an adult, I think. I got a lot out of it as well. I did find some plot holes and that was also kind of fun to be like having that mental exercise of like, and dissecting a series and like thinking about like wait this is an inconsistency that wasn't cleared up and I don't count as I said I don't count JK being like well I meant it this way like 10 years after the fact like that's no I can't accept that I'm sorry anytime I film videos my foot falls asleep literally every time I think I should sit differently maybe and the last video I really enjoyed doing was the comparison of Japanese versus Chinese because um, if you didn't know no, it started last fall, last year in the fall, I started studying Chinese and um, I tried, it was a really interesting and fun experience to kind of learn Chinese after Japanese because I had like an almost direct comparison of the two languages and I did a video on that. I compared the two as from my own subject, subjective point of view, from my own like experience and I really enjoyed it. I think it's well done. I love my lipstick, it's the same lipstick, but I did it really well in that video. Anytime I do my lipstick nicely and then I film a video, I love re-watching it. It's a little, it's a little vain, I know, but <laughs> I don't know, but I really like that. <laughs> that's weird. Okay, never mind. Anyway, so that's some of the, my favorite videos of the year. I will link them in the description box if you want to check them out and uh, enjoy them. You can let me know what your favorite videos of mine were this year. If there's anything that you'd like to see more of, like more types of content, let me know. And yeah, that is it for this little first installment of our 2018 recap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let, just let me know in general, like how was your 2018? Like share whatever. I want to read it. I want to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday and probably now in December also Sundays because I have too many videos and not enough time <laughs> and not enough Tuesdays and Fridays. So there'll be more videos in December. Click the notification bell so that you're always up to date. Now I'll see you very soon with another video. Until then, have a lovely week. Bye! I don't know why I always wave like this, like I'm the Queen of England.